often say information is power. Actually, it's the law. I'll take you through the duty to inform. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to this channel, I'm Zanele. We're yes. going through a series of the Occupational Health and Safety Act. So not only for those of you guys who are interested in the government certificate of competency, but really so we get a better understanding of what the safety requirements are, the health and safety requirements are, as employers or as employees, and as individuals who are appointed in roles. So I'm just trying to break down the different legislation, the different requirements, not only from the Occupational Health and Safety Act, but also from the various regulations, so that it makes it a little bit easier for those of you guys that might have questions around the, the OSH Act. Spoken a bit about the duty of the employees, the duty of the employer. So whether you're an employer or an employee or both, now you've got a better understanding. If you haven't seen the previous videos, do check them out because there is some detail as to what to look out for and what to be aware of when it comes to the law. At the end of the day, it's not just your line manager or the appointed engineer who's accountable and responsible for safety on, on site or in any facility where you're working, but really is worthwhile for each individual to understand the role that each of us play. Today I'll take you through what is somewhat easy but a very critical part of the of the law and that's the duty to inform. So this forms part of section 13 of the Occupational Health and Safety Act and one that every individual, especially employers, should be aware of. It's also key for you as an employee to understand what you should expect of your employer as well. The first requirement is that the employer has a duty to inform his or her employees of any hazards that might be associated to a piece of work that the employee needs to do whether it's the machinery or equipment, or it's the processes that the employee is operating, even if it's materials that they're handling or the products that they're producing, at the end of the day, any piece of work that an employee is involved with, the employer has a duty to inform that employee of the hazards associated with that piece of work. Over and above that, the employer has a duty to inform the employee of the precautionary measures that must be taken to mitigate any injury or any harm that may be caused to the employee. So if you're the employer in this case, you number one have to have a, a grasp and a good understanding of the hazards associated to your certain work and inform your employees of any hazard that, that may be associated to what it is that you're tasking them to do. It's important that SOPs are in place, that the right procedures are clearly indicated for anyone within the area, especially individuals that are working. Some institutions and some organizations do what is called planned job observations, and this is to assess the competency and assess the fitness to work of an employee in executing a certain task, encompassing also all the safety and health requirements for that particular role, including the required PPE, all the isolations that are taken, all the checklists that need to be done, and also monitoring of compliance of, of those practices as well. The second requirement is the duty for employers to inform all the safety and health representatives, so your she reps. The employer has a duty to inform the she reps of any inspections that may be coming up or any inquiries from the inspector. So she reps need to be informed by the employer if any notice has been placed or if any inspections are required or if there are inquiries that are then put forward by, by the inspector. The she rep is legally appointed. As much as they're nominated, it is a legal appointment and there is a role that she reps play, a very critical one within your employment in ensuring that employees are safe and that facilities are also within the right conditions because they also play a role in informing your employer on whether there are any injuries or if there are any conditions within the facilities that are not okay. They also play a role as the voice of the employers as well if they're raising any concerns about conditions in the workplace. So it is important where there is a new piece of information, especially one relating to safety and health, that you do inform your, your she reps. And last but not least, the third requirement, the employer has a duty to inform the she reps as soon as reasonably practicable of any injury that may have taken place in the workplace, especially if it is in the area that the she rep actually works or is responsible. So it is important that as an employer, just because you've been notified and you're aware of an injury or an incident, make sure that you also inform the she rep if they may not be privy to that information. Ultimately, at the end of the day, each person has a different role to play. It is quite fruitful when you find teams where she reps, leadership, management, supervisors, the engineering team, the operations team, the logistics teams, everyone works as an integrated team in resolving any issues that may be raised, ensuring that there are mitigations in place to preventing any future injuries or accidents from occurring. I'll continue to unpack the Occupational Health and Safety Act, but I'll also start unpacking the different regulations, starting with your mechanical and electrical regulations.
I'm keen to know, do you feel the cheer reps are respected in their capacity in your workplace? Do let me know, comment below. Feel free to share with anyone that you feel might find this content useful. So there are a number of you guys that are active, that comment on, on the different videos, you send me emails and you're very engaged. I really do appreciate your insights and your engagement. I'd like to send a shout out to Nomfondo Mbichegane. Thank you for your contribution. I've seen some of the great work that you're looking to do also with this content as well. If you'd like a shout out, do share your comments below. I'm really keen to know what your, what your thoughts are. And remember to live your best life, learn as you grow and lead for change. Shop.